Good everyone, my name is Graphics. Today we want to solve a problem involving friction on an horizontal plane. And the question goes like this, it says, a body of weight 50 newton is hauled along a rough horizontal plane by a pull of 18 newton acting at an angle of 14 degree with the horizontal find the coefficient of friction now the first thing you have to do is to draw your free body diagram right now if you look at this closely this is my horizontal plane right and we are told that a body let's take this block to represent the body is placed on that plane and the plane is rough due to the fact that the plane is rough means we have a coefficient of what of friction now so the body is hard the weight of the body is 50 newton so i'll place my arrow acting downward to show that the weight of the body w is equal to what 50 newton right now if w is equal to 50 newton automatically there will be a normal force or a normal reaction acting opposite it, which is we we'll call it Fn or you call it Rn, right? Because the third law of motion says that to every force, there is equal and opposite what reaction, or we say action and reaction are equal and opposite. So when I'm having 50 newton here facing down. The normal force will be acting opposite it. Now, I would have really said the normal force is given to be 15 newton, but because there's a pull force of 18 newton at an angle, so we cannot say that the normal force is equal to what the weight acting on the on the object, right? Now, it says there's a pull force. Now look at the pull force. Let's say this is my horizon, my center line here, and there's a pull force acting. In this direction this way it is being pulled at an angle of what 14 degree right and the force we're using to pull it is what 18 newton you can see this is what we have here now if you are pulling it says friction opposes relative what relative motion right when i mean relative motion is that the block is sliding on the body so the block is relative to the what to the body the horizontal ground so friction opposite relative motion and the friction that we're opposing this force of 18 newton that is pulling this body is given to be what we we'll call it fx or we we'll call it the frictional force let me call it the static friction right call it static friction or we we'll say we we'll call it since the block is already moving right since it's hauled along a horizontal plane by a force is hot so we we'll call it what the kinetic what friction because the body is already moving. Assuming the body is at rest and you are about to pull it, it will be what? The static friction. That is what is trying to what? Stop this body, trying to bring this body back to rest. Right? So this is our free body diagram here that we have. So what I'm going to do here is this. I'll write out the data given. So the data given, we are told that the weight is 15 newton. The force that is being pulled, that is applied to the block, is given to be 18 newton, and the angle at which the 18 newton is being applied is 14 degree, and the frictional force mu is given to be unknown. Now, the first thing you have to do is apply the condition for equilibrium. That says that first of all, before you do that, you need to resolve this inclined force, right? Since it is inclined and it is inclined to the horizontal plane. We we'll see that the vertical force is given to be 18 sine 14 and the horizontal force is given to be 18 cos 14. Now, if you don't understand how I got this, right, just click on this link at the top right corner here to lead you to a point whereby there will be, you'll be told on how you resolve forces at acting at different direction and at a different angles too. So just click on that link. You'll have the full detail on how to resolve your force. Now we'll move forward. Now since we've done that, we'll now apply the condition for equilibrium that says that 
the summation of f of x is equal to what? 0. And we are going to consider the forces acting towards the right to be positive and the forces acting towards the left should be negative. Right? Now, we will now say it this way. The force, summation of f of x is given as the force P also. Right? It's given to be minus, let's see, summation of f of x is given as what P? Right? Equals to, let's look for the summation of both f of x equals to 0. Now, let's see. We'll be having the forces f of x acting backward is negative, right? Plus 18 cos 14 is acting forward. That is why it's positive, right? Equals to what? 0. Now, we can also write our summation of f of x as p, right? So we say p, if I take p is equal to negative f of x, that is if we start the, the kinetic friction, sorry, f of k, plus 18 cos 14 equals to what? 0. Now if I take this value to the other side of the equation, right, my force p will now be giving us the Frictional kinetic friction, which is f of a minus 18 cos 14. Are we good now? Now, when you convert 18 cos 14, you press your calculator to give us 17.47. So we we'll say that p is equal to f of k minus 17.47. Is that okay? So I'm going to call it my. We already have the value of what? Of p, the p is given to be what 18. So we we'll see that 18 is equals to f of k minus 18 cos 14. Now, if I make my f of k the subject of the formula, right? So we we'll see my f of k will now be giving us as um, 18, right? Plus 17.47. Now, we'll now say that the f of k will now be given when you press your 18 plus 17.47, you're going to be at having, you're going to be having um, 35.47. So, the kinetic friction that is trying to oppose this force is what? 35.47. Are we good? Now, that is for that aspect to get my F of K. Now, we'll now take another condition for equilibrium. That says that what? The summation of F of Y is equals to what? Zero. Now, we're considering upward force to be what? Positive and downward force to be what? Negative. So, let's apply that. So, the summation of F of Y will be given as what? Fn. That is the normal force, the force acting up from our diagram, right? Minus the 50 acting downward plus the resolve force, which is 18 sine 14 acting upward. And this is what we have here. Now, equals to what? Zero. Now, if I take minus 50 and plus 18 sine 14 to the other side, I'm going to be having Fn is equals to 50 will turn to positive because we are moving to the other side of the equal sign um, minus 18 sine 14 right so we will now say that my fn will now be equals to 50 minus when you calculate 18 sine 14 will give us 4.3546 so 50 minus 4.3546 will give us my normal force will now be equals to 45.65 Newton. So that's my normal force. So we've got in normal force Fn here. Are we good? Now we've got in the Fn and we've got in what? The the what? The Fk, right? But we also know very well that my recall the kinetic friction is equal to what? The quotient of friction multiplied by what? The normal force. Right? 
Now, if I make my kinetic friction, this is the formula we'll be having the, the kinetic friction. If I make my coefficient of friction, the sort of the formula will be having my kinetic friction divided by what? The normal force, right? Now, that's what we now have. So, we have my kinetic friction to be 35.47 all over the normal force will be given as what? Um, 45.65, right? So, we'll now see that my coefficient of friction will now be given as what? 0 0.7 seven six so that will be my question of friction there is no unit is that the key so if you have uh, found this video helpful please don't forget to subscribe like comment and also share the video thanks for watching